This is a quick tour of how you can get started with creating your first chatbot using TARS. Once you are in the dashboard, you'll be able to choose to create a chatbot from any of the existing chatbot templates defined by industries, or you can wish to create from scratch by clicking on Create a Chatbot. Give your chatbot a name and you are good to go. You will now be in your chatbot canvas, and this is where you are going to create your chat flow. The first step is to click on Add Gambit. Gambit means one single back and forth conversation between the bot and user. Now that you have created your first Gambit, it's time to add the messaging that will go in the chat flow. First off, click on the Gambit. The box that opens up a window called the modal where you can see the messages that the bot will send the user and the input options that the user has to respond to the bot. Under the bot messages heading, the bubbles you see here are the actual messaging bubbles that go in the bot. You can simply add the questions or statements here. At the bottom right of the bot messages section, there is a blue drop-down menu in which creators can choose how users can respond to these messages. In the TARS Bot Builder, we have several different ways to receive input from users. These range from standard text input to prefixed reply inputs like buttons, cards, custom lists, and custom input specific UI like calendar, file upload, rating, and geolocation. Once you are done with the first gambit, add more gambits. A series of gambits makes a conversation and you will have to join one gambit to the other for the conversation to flow. Branching allows the chatbot creators to redirect the conversation flow based on the button the user selects. Once you are done creating the whole chat flow, it's time to end the conversation. To do this, you need to select the Auto Page Redirection option from the drop-down menu. You will be able to set a page to which the user will be redirected and a delay before which the loading begins. Leave the URL field blank and no redirection will happen, the bot will just end. Now that you can create have the whole chat flow, you need to be able to use the bot, right? Go ahead and click the Publish Chatbot button in the top right. You will have to click on the Publish Chatbot button as and when you make changes in the chat flow. Once you have clicked on the Publish Chatbot button, test out your chatbot by clicking on Launch Landing Page. To use chatbots in your own organization, book a free chatbot consultation at hellotars.com demo or click the link in the video description. Again, that's hellotars.com slash demo.